Here I'm going to have an introduction to the React the Complete Guide. We are going to learn React by developing web applications from small to large projects. If you are new to the React, the first 50 lessons of this course are for you. By the end of these lessons, you will learn React basics like creating components, working with states and props, handling events, conditional rendering, creating lists and keys, building forms and get data from users, and lifting states up. Also, you will build web applications like a tic-tac-toe game by decomposing components and a simple shopping cart using React components. If you have experience with React or you have learned basic lessons of this course, the next 90 lessons are for you. By the end of these lessons, you will learn advanced React concepts like React hooks, context API, Redux to manage state in your React components, testing React components, type checking using flow, and creating React using TypeScript. Also, you will build web applications like a shopping cart using React and Redux, a fully functional e-commerce website like Amazon using Merne Stack, and a self-order queue using React, Context, and Material UI like McDonald's. In this course, you will learn following services in your projects. React responsive carousels to show carousels in your homepage. React reveal to show animation in the screen. React Google charts to show charts for data like a revenue report. Google map to show maps on the screen, like to select location of users for an order, material UI to implement a professional looking UI, React Bootstrap to create a UI framework for web applications, Redux to manage state in your application, Socket.io to create a simple chat application between customers and sellers in an e-commerce website, Hiraco platform to deploy and publish your web applications on the internet, Netlify to deploy your applications and update it regularly, AWS cloud servers, Cloudinary to upload your images and videos on the internet. And for the backend part, we are going to use Node.js and Atlas MongoDB to create database backend API for your React applications. At the end, we will use payment gateways like PayPal and Stripe to make payments on this course. That's it about this lesson. We are going to learn React from concepts to practical projects. So don't miss this awesome course. See you on next lesson, Installing Tools.